Well, the court case between Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis and Disney is still ongoing. Most recently, Florida senators approved a bill which dissolves the development agreement between Disney and the Reedy Creek Improvement District. But what impact does this have on the relationships between businesses and political parties? Here to discuss more is our very own Rick Newman. Rick, it's hard to, to see who's the business-friendly party here anymore. I don't think there is a business-friendly political party in the United States anymore, and I think this goes way beyond uh, what Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is doing in this battle with Walt Disney down there. Um, I trace this back to the Trump administration when um, Trump did two things that businesses um, always count on the Republican Party to do. He signed a tax cut bill and he, li he loosened regulations. But Trump also w uh, waged this trade war against China and um, many other countries in Europe, Canada, Mexico. Uh, but, so that involved new tariffs on imports and that raised costs uh, on um, thousands of U.S. businesses, and it didn't do anything for the business community. Basically, Trump was saying uh, he was picking favorites, which a lot of critics say the Democrats do all the time. He was saying, I favor uh, domestically located businesses. Those are the ones that benefited from the tariffs and uh, c companies that rely on imports for components and things like that. They were the losers. And we now have a lot of data to show that those, um, the Trump trade war didn't really help U.S. businesses at all, and it hurt some businesses. So now we have Ron DeSantis going after Disney. This is purely political. This has nothing to do with any kind of uh, business-related policy. We've got other Republicans now. They're sort of copying what um, DeSantis is doing. We're hearing members of Congress, especially Republicans in the House, are now talking about they want to wage their own war on what they call woke capitalism. I think we're going to see a lot of this in the 2024 election. Uh, and there's a lot more to it, which I've written about recently. But um, it just does not look at all like Republicans are uh, the party of business anymore in the United States. And then you're also seeing a big push from the Biden administration, keeping a real hawk's eye when it comes to some of these mergers and acquisitions, blocking them when they can. What about that side of it? Can, then, can we expect to see perhaps less mergers and acquisitions, although we did see an exception with the bank fallout? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the Biden administration, um, yes, they... they actually favor smaller companies rather than bigger ones. I mean, that, I don't think there's anything new about that on the Democratic side. Um, but look, I mean, we, we've even got um, Republicans who want to break up big tech, um, not just Democrats who want to do that. Um, in Montana, they actually passed a law recently that bans TikTok. Um, there are some certain reasons to worry about TikTok, TikTok, but I mean, like actually banning a company from operating in your state um, so there's a lot of weird stuff happening, Rochelle. I'm not saying American business is necessarily going to suffer here. I think a business in the United States always lands on its feet, and it will again. But um, there's a lot of turmoil in terms of which political party is pro-business, which is anti-business, and it breaks down much more along political lines than it ever used to. Interesting stuff there. We appreciate that update. Yahoo Finance's Rick Newman. Thanks so much. See you.